everyone, it's Mr. Ng, and I wanted to um, make a little video on example 6.7 uh, out of the book, just because it's one of the best examples for this little formula, MGH, meaning gravitational potential energy, right? Meaning the potential energy of rising something, raising something up, like if you lift something up, it wants to fall down, right? So it's holding potential energy. The formula for that is MGH, mass times the acceleration of gravity times height. So um, here it says uh, a roller coaster, a 1,000 kilogram roller coaster, so there's our mass, moves along from point 1 to point 2, then 3. What is the gravitational potential energy at 2 and 3? And then, uh, and then what is the change in potential energy when it goes from 2 to 3? Okay, so that's pretty easy. It says that zero uh, at one, it's zero. So that makes sense, that's our reference point. So here, this part goes up by 10 meters. So the PE is gonna equal to the mass times gravity times a positive height of, a thou of um, 10 meters. So this is gonna be 1,000 times 9.8 times uh, 10 meters and you get Nine, eight, oh, how many zeros will there be? I think four. Three zeros. Three zeros. Uh, or if you do it in uh, scientific notation, 9.8 times 10 to the 4 joules. Easy. So then on the bottom, if it goes down, this is the only point that's a little bit trickier, not that it's that tricky. Uh, it's got to be negative, right? Because you lost some potential energy. It's lower than where it was. So here, the PE is equal to mgh again. This time it's 1,000 times 9.8 times negative 15 meters. So that's going to equal to uh, 14700 negative joules. Or if you put in a scientific notation, 1.5 times 10 to the 5 negative joules. Pretty easy, right? Just using the formula, it's below where it was, so it's got to be negative. That seems pretty easy. Uh, this is part A. Part B wants you to find the difference. So up here we have a positive uh, 9.8 times 10 to the 4. Down here we have negative 1.5 times 10 to the 5. So the entire difference, what is this whole thing? Well, um, you're going to go down, you're going to lose energy. And the whole difference, what is the change in potential energy? That's going to be um, negative 1.5 times 10 to the 5 joules minus 9.8 times 10 to the 4. 4 joules, right? So, I don't know. Let me do that math real quick. Yes. Oh, it's 2.5 equals to 2.5 times 10 to the 5 joules. And it goes down, so it's losing energy as it does that. Pretty easy, I think. Uh, thanks for watching.